Well, good evening, everybody. My name's the Muff Bandit. Here with Xbit. Say hi, Xbit. Hi. <laughs> it's great. We're running Operation Mistwalker tonight. And it's a good one. I'll tell you what, it's, it's focused on infantry. And I'll give you a little more information. This is Squad Ops. This is a one life event. You get one life to help achieve victory with your team. Got a lot of guys loading in right now. Most of them are in already. A couple more filtering in. We're going to see some platoon briefings before long. But the big thing is, it's going to be a heck of an experience. We're going to have a lot of fun. You guys are going to have a good time. Right now, you're looking at the militia forces. The militia forces are against the Russian forces. Again, this is Operation Mistwalker. We're going to listen to the platoon brief. Karma cuts the command for the militia. Let's go over that real quick. I didn't even get the... I didn't write it down. I'm sorry. Expit, do you have it written down? Well, Shadow and Rituals, the other commander. Great. I don't know how the squad layer sorted out, but those are your two commanders. Karma cut and Shadow. All right. I can get it. I can get it figured out for sure. We're going to listen to the militia. The militia, the militia and the Russians are pushing for the same location. Good go, fam. And... Hey, bro, right. Wait, hold on, hold on, brief. They're pushing for the same location from the mains. It's favored a little bit to the militia. It's an Indian 9 keypad 9. It's basically right here. Right, buddy. She, uh, shovel out, bud. I'm sorry, yeah. Indian 9 keypad 4. Right there. Right. Pull yeah. Shovel's up. Three's good. Four. Sorry, someone's having problems. All right, ready. All right. Give me comms. All right. Welcome to Operation Mistwalker. This is a militia versus Russia infantry only operation. As Mobility is limited to the bridges. You cannot cross the river. is take the concrete structure marked by the green friendly fob mark. Uh, we're to take that and hold that for the duration of the mission. Our operation plan is as follows. We're going to stack up in a column four, uh, one, two, and three. Four at the front of the column. We're going to push north towards Radio Tower Bridge. Once we get to Radio Tower Bridge, four is going to set up on the uh, MG mark, set a base of fire, and um, prepare to engage enemies. Um, if they've reached that point. Normally, we're going to reach that spot before, so we're expecting light contact, if any. Once force sets up, one, two, and three will immediately cross the bridge. Uh, spacing still applies if we cross that bridge. You don't want to get all stacked up on that bridge. Make sure you're decently spaced as you're sprinting across. Once across, uh, the platoon will get online with these uh, markers. Uh, squad one on the target, squad two on the... Uh, Mortar and squad three on the rocket. When you're moving, make sure that you are passing behind squad two. As squad three passes, make sure squad three is behind squad two. Right? Don't pass in front of people. Um, we're going to form that platoon line. Once that platoon line is set, uh, squad four, who's still on the east side of the bridge, on the MG, they're going to push from the MG mark to the new MG mark on the, on the, on the uh, objective proper. Areas of responsibility. Obviously, as we're formed in a platoon line, um, all squads are looking northwest and west except for squad four. Squad four's uh, objective is to look at the new target to ensure that the Russians don't use the bridge against us and set up a base of fire on the eastern side of the bridge. Uh, that's their primary objective is to make sure that we, uh, the enemy doesn't set a foothold on the opposite side to suppress us. Secondary objective for squad four is to maintain the line as squad one, two, and three take casualties. Squad four will send fresh troops onto the line, making sure we maintain that line and hold the line. Uh, there's no GLs, so we shouldn't be taking any uh, HE from long distance. So if you get fragged, it's because they're within frag range. Double check that. Make sure your spacing's good. Um, aside from that, we're going to be pushing uh, as fast as we can to the bridge. Cross that bridge efficiently. Set that platoon line. Four is going to set on the point. Four is on uh, rear security as well as um, reinforcements to the line if our line gets pushed back in a certain uh, area. 
Um, but pretty, for, pretty much a straightforward defense. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, who's Gooby's squad? He picked Scout. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. I got him. Gotcha. Any questions? Are you expecting us to reach that, uh, that location before the Russian? We should, if timing works out and everything's good to go, we should reach that location. Um, All right, we're live the, again. The uh, Russian. Let's guys. Uh, remember that. I'm gonna tell you guys basically what's going on here. I'll open my map back up. As we set that platoon line. Uh, use us. What's going on is both teams are starting at their mains, and it's on foot. This is a infantry variation of Gorodok. But. Squad leader is going to break the compound they're fighting for is in okay. India 9 a keypad 4. So it's right in here. I zoomed way in. As you can see, militia can run up to the bridges quicker, a lot quicker. They get there a lot quicker. Russia really has to move to get in. So kind of favors militia getting in there first and defending. But once Russia get in there and defend, it's just as equally as hard for the militia. So this is going to be cool. We're going to see what goes on. We're probably going to see some Russian platoon briefing really quick here. Oh, but yeah, it's a one life event. One life, you go down, you're dead. Sorry, over. But you get a watch. We make it. We try to make it so everyone can watch. That's a big thing. We want you to not just have to sit there dead. And we're gonna cut you to the Russian platoon brief. Here we go. These uh, ruined compounds and set up a fob and hold it from the militia forces. The plan is as follows. Squad 1 will be holding the south bridge, positioned around the AR mark. Squad 2, Tedesha squad, will be the float squad, positioned south of Neva Lower. Mostly watching the south bridge, but they're going to be able to float to the north bridge if necessary. Squad 3, Paradise squad, is going to head to the objective proper and uh, set up around the, uh, the area. Squad 4 will be watching the north bridge, setting up on the hills southeast of Neva Lower. Or east of Neva Lower, depending on how his uh, how the SLCs fit. Are there any questions? Any finer details and finer placements going to be up to your SL, and then down to fire team leads after that. If they go North Bridge, they can definitely get there before us. Cop, yeah. If they go to North Bridge, they will yeah, they will they will beat us there. But yeah, that's why I'm gonna have Tedish squads floating. So three and Four or two and four are going to be able to, to respond to these guys at North Bridge. I'm sending Pony to the South Bridge. I don't want to put too many people on that South Bridge because I don't think Carm's going to make the mistake of going that South Bridge a second a second up in a row. He's going to be stubborn. He's full of surprises. That's true. He is. He's pretty stubborn. He did break through, but he got crushed after we actually made it across the bridge. But if there are no questions, squad leads break them out for final details. I'll call for live. Let's do it, guys. Good luck, everyone. If I can survive for Shadow, the you have to be so happy. It's a good question. Uh, I'll probably go with you, Paradise. <laughs> All right, because you have to actually place the Well, oh, there you go. You get to see the, uh, the militia plan and the Russia plan. Let's see how it pans out for them. Yeah, then we were Russians, and we did this long trip through the north, oh, I mean, I'm and it took us a lot I'm longer. Small, but... Like, we could have definitely set up an op fob by the time that we got there going through the north. All right, we're live in a minute, 20. All right, keeping asked how logistics will work for the team that gets the fob down. They don't get logistics, but I'll tell you what, every single one of these guys has sandbags, or most of them do. There's ARs and medics, but a lot of them have sandbags. There's all there is for kits in this. It's straight, straight infantry, and there's only two ARs and two medics per squad. So there's five infantrymen. That's five sandbags per squad that they get. So out of four squads, that's 20 sandbags. They should do okay with that. There's no yeah. vehicles. There's nothing but grenades. There's no grenade launchers. There's no rockets. There's no nothing. So... It's a real interesting one. Like I know earlier today in the first round in the EU session, we were dropping sandbags. You know, the infantry were in digging them up and, you know, block it. You can't stack them or anything, but you can put a line of them. Yeah, this op is definitely a rifleman's op. It's designed to be kind of a in-your-face infantry kind of thing. 
don't know where you're going to find them. You don't know where you're going to get shot from. But once you get there, it's it's dangerous and fun. Yeah, and it's going to get going. It's going to get dirty. All right, we're live on like five seconds. And we're live. Russia or militia are moving. Yeah, Russia is jumping off with a lot of pace. When you're looking at me with blue, that's militia. Red is Russian. So it doesn't matter which one of us you're looking at. Blue's uh, going to be militia, up. red's going to be Russia. Yeah, we're on the Russian snows. So you see him outlined in red. You see the militia way in the background there in blue. Oh, yeah, we got this overlay for this operation. We're going to throw it up right now for you guys. All right, well, this is Operation Mistwalker. It's pretty simple. Each team is getting two ARs and two medics per squad. All right, and they're going for India 9, keypad 4. There's a compound in there. You're going to see it. You're going to see it in the future here, but that's for sure. Uh, they can place the FOB. But that's about it. Two ARs, two medics. So you're going to see a lot of healing. You're going to see a lot of tracer fire with these guys suppressing each other. And you're going to hear a lot of AKs. Now we'll go to the objectives. Uh, this mission is infantry only. And it calls for each team to assault an old fortified location. There's a couple pillboxes and stuff in there. You'll see it when we get up there. First team to gain control can drop a fob to build emplacements. Now, they only get about 200 supplies, so it's not a lot of emplacements they can make. Um, but it's simple. It's to secure the objective and hold it until the last enemy unit is killed. And you can see, looking at the light of the radio tower, that it's it's foggy, to say the least. The light's not too clear. It looks like a solar eclipse that's coming up. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hey, so why are you Look at all these guys. They, all right. They just got told to go to a walking pace so that they can save their stamina. Look at them all. They're just walking. Not really running. Some guys in the back are running to catch up, but they have time to regain stamina. But they're at a walking pace. Tons of them. Look at that. That's the whole team right here. What if I turn their names on? That's what makes these ops kind of fun and unique. It's like you get a whole team working together, moving in one direction. Looks really impressive. I'm following this squad now that's heading towards the railroad bridge. You can see the uh, militia team way there in the distance. They're not even coming this way. No, they're going to the northern bridge. It's They're almost there, actually. So they're going to be well across that bridge by the time the Russians get up there. Looks like the militia will be the first. And this is the way it's supposed to be, right? The militia are supposed to beat them there a little bit. One, as soon as you hit that bridge, you're going to sprint. Stay firm. These bridges, they're the death points. Two hold position, two hold position, let one get uh the militia have got to get across these bridges. If they don't, the Russians can just tear them up. Or set. It's a bottleneck, you know, a choke point. One move. You want to scare right as soon as uh one's across? Yeah, as soon as one's clear across the bridge, followed by two. Push now. Militia have one squad across. Three, they're actually going north instead of south. I think their main goal is to cover, protect. Yep, Three. they're slowing down. They're hopefully going to spread out a little bit more. Oh, they're grouped up. But here comes the next squad. And they're being led here. Sightless is their leader. Next squad's coming across. That's going to be the third squad.
And we're actually going to get another one coming. Last guy's coming across right now. Still got a few guys covering. Now keep in mind, a lot of these guys, no one has optics. No one has anything. They're covering each other with iron sights. We try to keep it a kind of an equal playing ground if possible. Are the Russians there a ways away? We're getting closer. See who sees the militia are just fanning south. They're just heading straight south towards the compound. Yeah, it looks like the Russians were counting on them crossing that southern bridge. Because he's just running into another ambush. But they're not there. If we're not seeing any movement on that south bridge, I want you crossing the bridge and laying down fire. Oh, I see Sir Humper says that auto riflemen would have a field day if they catch them like that. Oh, they would. And they have. They did that earlier during round two of the EU session. The squad I was in took heavy fire and got Constantly wiped pretty fire, much mostly. Right. Enemy contact, okay, enemy contact. Few of us were able to get across. But... Watch your cover, guys. Watch your cover. Full squad, apparently. They just went prone. So then they rushed. They have sandbags up. What's the direction? I have eyes on. I have eyes on. Sounds like they just spotted this uh, group of Russians over here in this rock formation. Oh, yeah. They're they're looking that way. A lot of these. Okay, they're lining up on each other. They're all lining up. We're going to have <laughs> freaking straight up warfare going here across this road. Uh, look at them. They dropped some sandbags. A lot of them did. A lot of the riflemen. That's a good job by them. Let's get down there. Let's see if they're talking. Oh, they got fire. Here we go. They heard it. Are they going to get that guy? He's still crawling. Oh, they got to make them shots count. Got to make them shots count. They're good. They got him, though. They, they said, hey, we see you there. We're already in the first position. We made it to the compound first. And now the Russians are firing back. That's from the far west. Oh, they're pushing the East guys, back. pushing the Russians back. You see the up. Russians spreading right out in the distance. Yeah. The militia are still, they're pretty held together. Back it up. It's a big right, battle. Enemy front 100 meters, or 100 degrees. I saw one guy crossing a hill. So the militia have a team up north. They have one squad up north that's really not Showing utilized four, right now. Going? which isn't too bad because there's some Russians to the south near the railroad bridge that aren't utilized. So it's kind of a three-on-three -three situation. And it's mainly the two squads in the middle engaging each other. Pretty easy to tell. Most of the Russian squads apart. The militia are intertwined pretty well between a couple of squads. I don't know where their last squad's at. Okay, they've got a squad back that's full defense. At the Alamo. Uh, we've got reports that the Russians see the sandbags, Three, calling them out. Oh, they know, so they know they're there, they're then. They, yeah, they know. There's shots have been fired, so they there. definitely know at what's up. At least eight guys, maybe nine. They're looking at two. Three, start trying to move. Get behind these guys. Yep, laser war starting. Yep, here we go. Tracer fire coming out. Enemies are south of the road on three's position. Uh, break, break. Be advised, multiple contacts are Oh, great communication. Great comms right now on the militia. Or, yeah, militia. Talking, they're just saying they're tearing in. They're coming our way. Squad five reported. So that's the south side. They're not kidding. There's a whole squad down there. There's two more squads up to the west, though. 
Looks like that Russian squad hit the eastern squad, or the north northern squad. Yep. They've all gone prone, been taken out. Yeah, bodies are hitting the floor now. Let's check all these names out here. Oh yeah, look at all these guys still alive. Been a few guys killed for the most part. A lot of guys alive still. Oh, and Russia's got a team across the railroad bridge to south of the gap point. And they are lighting them up that way, just sending that tracer fire. I don't think they're hitting them, but man, they're letting it fly. Letting that let go. Oh man, it's coming back too. The Russians are shooting it back. In the meantime, though, these other Russians are pushing in from the southwest, in the west, bringing their whole squad in here. I heard OD tap squad leader. Uh, I don't think he's actually squad leader. He's replacement, maybe. Yeah, oh, no, I think maybe he's so. squad leader. Karma's giving orders, change their line, move it around a little bit. Eight eight now, zero eight eight. On target, on target. They're popping. You know, and militia's not even falling back to the compound. They're trying to keep a big line to the northwest here. They're trying to keep them across the road, but now here they come. Yeah. That orange smoke, someone's pushing through. Smokes are getting thrown, more grenades are coming through. Are we pushing? Alright, yeah, Bravo, smoke, throw one smoke from each. The smoke and get across the road. Yeah, one, keep right trying to get around. Two and four, hold your position, three's moving now. Use your smokes to maneuver. Throwing grenades. We got smoke southwest now, we got smoke southwest. Copy that. Those smokes are really taking a toll on the ground units, they can't see anything through there right now. Yeah, smoke missed. Shots are getting fired though. There's. Ooh, the Russians are coming in. The militia have got to hold it together. They got to. They really got to communicate, coordinate right now. A lot of them are down. A lot of them down. Wow. A lot of militias down right now. That was a big, big exchange there. Wow. Yeah, it went really well for. I guess both teams, but Russia came out on top there for sure. Still a lot of, a lot of units left for both teams though. So. Three starting to make some progress. And you know what, by the way, Militia, the way they've made Russia throw all those smoke grenades, Russia's going to be out of smoke, so they're going to have trouble pushing in on the main compound here if they get down here. Yeah, there's nothing but open ground too once you get up close to that fortress. Yeah, so they've... Good job by the militia holding it off here. They're lighting up the Russians to the south now. Tedish tearing him up, man. What's he at? He's tearing it up. He's got five so far. Oh, and he's walked up on two more. Three more. Already taken one out. I'm taking. He's taking two out. And there's his next. Oh, he did. We were right through. Down from squad four. Copy. All right, guys, Copy move up. We're through. Four, oh, the guy died. I think he already died. Someone else got him, maybe. I thought that guy was still alive. He's dead there. Alright, well, the Northwestern militia force is pretty beat up right now. 
They've got a couple guys north of Tedish's squad. Tedish is shooting to the east. And off to his north is some militia infantry. He's got his full squad with him still. Oh, what a nade. Drops Tedish. Just sack of shit at him. <laughs> Poor Tedish. His whole squad pretty much wiped now. Oh my god, someone played. Bird person played dead as Tennis ran past. He totally played dead. That was great. He did it like I did earlier today on the bridge. That was <laughs> awesome. I thought Bird person was still alive. I was like, I think he's still alive. Did he bleed out? I thought he bled out. So good job by Bird person. They actually just defended Tennis' squad. Kill wise, we're at 13 to 14. So it's still really close. This is anybody's match. The militia did a good job of holding off the Russians from getting too close. But the Russians have a squad on the southeast side of the river. They got a full squad down there. Now that can be totally viable. That's totally doable. They, and it's a whole squad over there. They can't cross the river. Stick yeah, with us. Make Stick your way with up us to that and watch your rear. Stick with us and watch your rear. Yep, and they're spotted, so they're taking shots. They're, they're definitely fire. getting fired upon. So, uh, hit in the back. Yeah, but in the midst of it all, they've still got that squad coming from the southwest. Which is, it's a full squad. Two, four, six, eight, ten. There's probably squad plus some. Yeah, and commands there too. So they're coming from the southwest completely unnoticed for the they're most part. They're pulling off of these sandbags and stuff. They're pulling back. Wow. Well, the majority of the militia forces have already taken out the minimal force over here that was, I think, but one squad. And the Russians are still throwing smokes up there and keeping them busy. So great job by Shadow Rituals guys keeping them busy. And whatever squad that is up there, they're doing a kick butt job. I'll tell you what. Still there. Right now, there. it's a pretty close match. He's bandaging. But militia holds the objective. I don't see where the you're objective is at. right here. India 9, oh. keypad 4. That's I 9, keypad 4. And the, it's the objective. Get to this old ruined compound. Hold it. He's gone. He's gone. And so the militia got there first, and now he's they're there, holding. He's there. He's there. He's moving left. He's Russia's moving left. throwing smoke grenades. Russia has gone crazy. They're getting nuts. Yeah, right there. Right there. You see him? No, no, no. He's still there. Yeah, they're holding it, and they're getting fire on that eastern Russian squad there. Oh, man. They're actually taking some folks out, too. Yep. That's to be a moto. He's lighting him up. He got one. He might have got two over there. I don't know. Just emptied that saw, though. Emptied it. Oh, they're fully aware now. Karma Cut's fully aware of contacts to the southwest. Karma Cut's bandaging. Oh yeah, here come the Russians. You can hear the you can hear the local chat. It's getting crazy. Karma cuts all like they're coming. Here they are. They're two five zero. So it's getting nuts. Hebrew, take care of them in the east. Copy. Yeah, I got a fire uh, team set up right now. I need you to start looking uh, southwest. Southwest. I still got yeah, yeah, southwest west. Crossing front entrance. Crossing front. Hold side. Oh man, they've got guys coming from the south, and no one's looking. Oh, who's this? Who's this? Who's going to see it? G.I. Joe and Lone Wolf. And there's Miyamoto. They might be able to see him through here if they look south. Do they see him? Oh, someone just got dropped. Someone got sacked. Well, they know they're there now. Or at least one or two of them. Yeah, you think they, there's no one? I don't hear any local chat. Hopefully they're doing it in squad and command comms. Or squad comms at least. Let's take a look at the numbers, 18 to 17. Oh, 18 to 18. Numbers are tied right now. It's probably in favor for Russia, actually. Because there's two of us flying around on militia. Well, this little southern squad has been whittling away at the fortress. There's only three alive in the fortress now. Yeah, they're Looks doing like a they're... good job. Looks like they're actually abandoning the fortress. There's too many militians way up northwest. Yeah, so I guess they are going to abandon. 
Let's keep moving. Cover. Yeah, this is better cover. Let's start trying to creep along this. Reload. Yeah, four. Try and come along the, uh... Oh, hold there. Hold there. Wait for one. That's gonna be your best bet. They're being engaged from our west. They flanked west. Jesus. Copy that. That's fine. That means they're off this objective. Ooh, we'll shadows take the shots. Yeah, copy. Uh, there's, there's a police squad there. Trying to stay safe in the south there. Get shot at a little bit. Watch it. I got by A lot of militia up here. Yeah, it's like they're almost concentrating everybody into that center compound. No, go They've actually moving. placed their fob there. Dude, that guy's dead. We killed that guy. Cool. We're plinking guys off from the... Lots of militia where I'm at, and they're they're really close together. A lot of talking going on, but not a lot of movement. Who here just annihilated the squad? I can hear Karma Cut still giving orders. Ask people to go with him. I think no one's going with him. Taking the stragglers and block our southeast. So they're still on the bridge. Careful over here. Careful over here. Careful over here. Hold right here. Hold right here. I want eyes all the way from the bank to the top of the conch. Hold here. We're staying in ambush here. They're starting to push the rocks. Copy one. Do what you can with your squad. I want your entire squad focused on that northeast. Copy. Right now, red's Russian, blue is militia. Yeah, these two squads are going to come in contact real soon. Militia being real patient right now, waiting for Russia to push in. Do it. I've got two of us, me and one other, are going to toss a grenade on the sandbag to blow the sandbag. Two other people will toss their grenades into the pillbox to actually uh, clear out that pillbox. We're going to wait for one to position themselves to get actual uh, pressure, so that way they can maybe not be looking at us. But that's the initial assault plan, and then once we get in there, we need to fucking clear fast and hard. All right, so Russia going to breach the compound up to their west here. Let's see how this works out. Militia might be waiting for it. They might be pushed back a little too far. Who knows? Roger that one. Solid job. Over. Let's watch this push come in. There's nobody there. But you can guarantee they're going to throw grenades. Copy. Let's try and get on this compound then. Big Jax, let's move. We need to push into this compound then. Copy, copy. Toss, I'll toss the grenade close, I'll toss the grenade far. I'll toss the grenade close, you toss the grenade far. There's Russia throwing nades into the compound. Do you want us going back? They're pushing it, but nobody's home. Bad nade, bad nade. There is a down militia guy here, so they probably. I need a strength. I'm just watching the ruins, man. I see him. They're at the bunker. One, four, five. Karma cuts called him out at the bunker, but I don't know if they know they've actually pushed. They they must with the grenades landing up there. I try and get over here. I try and make it to us. I am Fucking let's go. With my dear life, but there's about five people over here. I don't hear any movement. Three, try and get over here. Yeah, four, go south and try and come in from the south. If not, just keep me updated on what you see. Any information you give is going to help. Alright, are we ready? Bob, they're, they're going to cover the rest of the yeah, Alright, there they are. They've seen them at the, at the other compound. Pushing in. We got so those guys close, west. really slow down. West. 
They're tossing. Tossing nades. They know they're over the other side of the wall. Made out. Go, push up. Hit by it. Ooh. Go, go, go. Aggressive, aggressive. Move, move. All right, Gooby and Karma Cut coming in. Dermoplast goes down to Karma Cut. Hey, window right, window on the right. Gooby's shooting, someone else went down. Hey, get the red. Karma Cut goes down. Gooby goes down. I'm out of bandages. Or wait, no, I don't want I'm Militia are out of command, but they do have the kill count lead. Let's go, let's get Russia's in here. getting low on numbers. They're get down. in this They're compound, last. take up defensive positions. Uh, you got down. a nade? You got a nade? Come here, come here. This nade is going nade. close, 327. Toss it over this pillbox, 327. Just toss it over it. That's it, you're looking at the remainder of the Russian team right here. Oh, look at that. Evans SMA got himself eight kills. Do you want us to pull back? He was the big star on the militia so far. Tedish we saw for the Russians did good. Those are the big ones. Hey, clear that other pillbox Great. out. Got a few. Great. Clear also, that other pillbox out. Yet. Oh, I zoomed in a little there, huh? Most of our contacts coming from our west, northwest. Oh, someone did right get now. tapped in the bunker there. Yeah, you would think the bunkers would protect you, but they actually kind of three, two, four. in your face. They'll do that to you, that's for sure. Where are they hitting you from? Oh boy. This is some long level. range back and forth here. Now a grenade sandbag, so we can just have cover. Don't block that doorway. Anywhere, anywhere to where we can hide from grenades. Don't block that sandbag, or don't block the doorway. Yeah, sounds good. All right, Shadow Ritual got to his spot. The militia yeah, are gonna just that way we can jump behind it. Take it, it back. We, it looks like grenade comes in. There's somebody on the other side of this wall. Somebody on the other side of this wall. Actually, I can throw down the fob. I look. I look down the wall. There's no one. Look Copy. Fig, are you alive? Deathhawk, come to me as soon as you uh, finish digging that. I'm gonna. We've got 200 more points. I'm right behind you. Right behind you. There, we got 200 more points. All right, Rush is putting a fob up now, and it's up. There, another sandbag. Another sandbag. Dig that. There it is in the that, compound that's not what I wanted. The pillbox. So both teams have a fob. I'm not sure what is gonna happen now. This was unexpected. Expert, how should this play out? Oh, I think it's playing out in the malicious favor right now. Another, another one. Uh, they would malicious probably gonna have to be forced to clear this compound. But it looks like they're already working some guys up to come and make contact with them. I mean, the malicious got a pretty good base of fire up there to the northwest in that little uh, fortification up there, while this other team moves up the east side. Yeah, the militia definitely have the numbers right now. Trying to get a count here. Two, four, five. I think there's five Russians left, and that's it. And and they're pretty routed. Let's just yeah, not move. Not inside. Much. Not inside the pillboxes. All right, Deathhawk. Deathhawk Pigeon, you're watching this west door. Uh, Fig, me and you're watching this rear door. Oh, they just said we can push up. Yeah, they're making them push the fob. No, right no, now, you see that Russia's getting ordered to push the militia fob. I think that's because yeah. militia Wait a minute. got to the compound and placed their fob. Oh, first. man. <laughs> All right. Let's figure out how. Well, we'll see what they plan to do here, but they keep getting fired on. Oh, someone just got dropped wow. over there. It might have been Shadow Ritual. He just got taken out. Just sacked. Someone's got that laser saw. Them 
you go prone with one of them, them ARs, you're, it's pretty laser-like. It's very accurate. They don't smoke. It looks like yeah. there's four Russians left. I'm gonna... Yep. Yep. Yep, four left. This is not keeping a secret either. They're saying, hey, we're here. Come get us. <laughs> yeah, I think they have the better spot, though. I'm going to force Russia to come back out into the open again. They've got that little three-man team over there on the east side. Who's that coming up on the west side real close to? Who is that? That's Hook'em. Hook'em going in. Uh-oh. He's throwing a nade. He lobbed a nade over. Let's see if he gets anybody. Nope, he almost got himself. Oh, there's the second one. Squad one, I'm sending one of my guys and your guys to flush them out of those compounds. All right. Two of my guys and We're still holding the door. All right, Hook'em should anything. still have another grenade. He might just lob it in there I'll if he's got it. Rush is actually vacating their fob area. Yep. And this little three man team over here is. Yeah, there's only four left. For Russia, that is. You're gonna fucking die. And, like, that's gonna be it. Like, you're gonna fucking. A hole. Totally right. Probably one dude prone in a corner. How was it? That's what I fucking. 20. There's dudes How was being down there. there. That was being down. That was stupid. I don't do this be stupid. I'm glad you didn't die though. We're we'll down to three Russians. Three yeah. Russians remain. Three Russians, and they're facing off against three militia right across from them. And they've got two militia flanking them from behind, coming there? through where they just were. Oh, hold up, I'm still bleeding. Is that their fob? These two here, are here in their fob. That's Hook'em and yeah, Poke Smot. I'm gonna go check rocks outside here. They have a radio set up on that southern compound. Shots coming. Shots being exchanged here. Hey, down I don't know who's firing. Our friendlies are shooting here. Yep, those two guys just left that compound. They're going to come right behind them. Pokespot just called him at the compound. Oh, nope. He just heard him shoot up that way, though. He thinks they're down here. He's going that way. So they got a fob, fob there. Um... Poke Smot still flanking around. Three Russians remain against a slew of militia still. About a full squad's worth of loose. South, but they definitely got a fob. Sorry, their fob is south? Yeah. From that southern compound? Okay, yeah. Well, they have to push our fob, so. Hey, this building yeah. is clear. Oh, one more goes down. We're down to two Russians. Oh, here comes an aid. Here comes another aid. Wow. Whew, them were bouncy. Oh, one Russian left. One of them they went down. In the middle of the two, the south we're down squad. to one Russian. Who we got here? Uh, east squad. Seventh cab recruit Fig T. All right. Let's see how he does. He's dead. SCG. Good nice game. Shot. That's round one, everybody. That's a good one. Them infantry ones are good. Mm, them are awesome. Hey. A lot of fun. Good job by a lot of good people. Yeah. Wait, I killed guy. I killed. Thank you, I kill bird anyone? person. You avenged like three of us. When is? I can tell you yeah, killed bird like three person of us. MVP. Well, that's the end of round one. I guess we're gonna be, be moving on to round two here pretty soon. Seems about the right thing to do. Take yeah, a quick short break. How the fuck did I kill someone? Sure, check that link in chat. Uh, we're giving a squad key <laughs> away like, this month. no idea in my head when yes, I Yes, we are.
And it's Operation Mistwalker. Good job by Militia to hold there. They got in, they fortified, they, they lined up, they kind of shot and fell back, shot and fell back. Made Russia move around and it worked out for them in their favor at the end there. That's the first win for Militia. Russia's won two uh, earlier today, so. This will be interesting to see round two. We'll see how uh, the Russians react, knowing that Militia can win. Yeah. And we're gonna go to a break. We'll be right back in a minute. Go, uh, go to the bathroom. Call your mom. Do some research for the solar eclipse. Go buy your glasses. Do whatever. We're right back. <laughs> 